Welcome back. This is TC Maybe again with uh, TC Gaming. I'm going to do a real quick uh, episode 4.5 here because after I got off the first video, realized that there were a couple things structurally that would make this a little bit easier for us to explain later on. So the first thing I want to do is in the um, modifiers table, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that thing that we had in there that was called base value. We're just going to use row name because it's just so redundant. And also in the data table, when you use the node to look these up, it automatically goes by row name. So the other value that's in there is uh, redundant and unnecessary for all intents and purposes of what we're trying to do here. So to fix that, the real quick way is to go into your structure for modifiers and just delete that first row that was in there called base value that should automatically strip that down for you the other thing is when you go into your character we had a little section here where we were showing how these values could be um, displayed so what we're going to do is we're going to change it to where when you hit the J key and just follow along with me here real quick yours has a thing in here of health what I want you to do is to pull off of attributes and say get strength okay which when you click it it'll give you this so you're going to put that into strength you're going to do the same thing down here put that as strength and then um, down here for your set value you want to pull off of this and say set strength and when you do the set strength it's going to pop this out and then you just right click and say split the struct pin and it'll give you a node that looks like that so we're going to plug in strength max and then what we're going to do is on our J key press, what we're going to do there is coming off of this break. Again, you right click this and just say break um, or split, right? And then it'll bring this out. It's a break. From there, you're going to take this max value and you're going to pull off of here and just say floor to integer. And it's because we have integers in our structure for the attribute but we have floats in the other one so we want to take the float and convert it so this is the float value here for the max um, attribute and the value that we actually want over here is an integer because that's what we have in our data table for the modifier so this is why I said in the previous video I may be inclined to change where the health and mana values live because health theoretically is something that you could have partial values of and the same thing with mana you could have partial values of that and along with a lot of the other um, things that you're going to be measuring there, there's a lot of uh, variation there where you could have partial values so thing you know it's kind of tough to mix integers and and uh, floats in the same exact data table um, what I'm doing here to, to fix that temporarily is I'm saying get the floor of this take that and convert it into an integer so floor to integer 64 and then we were going to come off of here and what this is going to do is this little node so you just build it again it'd be probably just as easy um, if you pull this out into the string value over here okay so I, I have a thing where I say when I press J I want to go and get the data table row from the data table modifier and this row name is just our our row that we saw over here in this RPG map let's get back here I hope this is not getting confusing for you guys if it is I'll redo the video just let me know but if I go in here to modifiers we have that modifier and then the data table itself we just have row name right so row name is synonymous for us with base value row one would be base value one so all we're doing in here is we're saying go over here to the attributes and get whatever our current strength is okay we're going to take that strength value and look it up now see this says integer 64 is not compatible with name right so name if we highlight this is a is going to be a string value so we want to take this and say this is an integer to string and I can say to string integer 64 so that gives us a value down that can be ver converted to a name value. So that's going to take whatever we have plugged into this max, which is what we're going to be incrementing over here. Whatever's plugged into max over here will get rounded down to the nearest integer, converted to a string value, 
and that's going to be our thing that we supply as the row name. So this is basically say if our max was five, go find row five in this data table called DT modifier. Then if that row is found, we want to pull this back out and give us some information about it. So we say the row that we want to get is whatever the modifier is. Now I'm going to take the same value from this string and I'm going to plug it into this over here and this is just an append node. So if you right click and you say string append it gives you a thing that looks like this and you can see I have four things here and this only has two so you just hit add pin twice and then what you can do is you can type in text and then a value and then text and then a value and that's what I did here I just said a base value base value of and a space at the end of it and then I'm getting my max over here is the base value because it's basically the same thing right I could have also said row name but base value of whatever that value is currently gives a modifier of whatever the output is of the row modifier in here and then I'm just taking that whole thing into a print string and just leave it on uh, for 30 seconds now I will try and tighten this up a little bit again just go back and watch this real quick it's just a clean up from what we did earlier it's going to make it a lot easier in the future and I apologize for not catching this sooner but it got a little little squirrely at the end of that um, try and pull these in a little bit so you can see them better get them all on your screen so you can take a second to study what we got here without bouncing around and I'll pull these down here like this at least for this one and that one's not too bad it's just a short one it's basically the same as it was and I already showed you how to set that this one's a little more complex now because of this extra noise that we have in here with row names and string conversions it's nice to know that you can do this though so if you if you have something where you have to convert it over and again this isn't our final system by any stretch of the imagination this is just getting you the conceptual uh, feel for what we're talking about here so let me set that like that give us a little bit more real estate here and blow that up some so you can see it <clears throat> okay so in this in this example I'm gonna hit the I key I'm gonna increment my strength by whatever the current max is plus one adds one to the specified value it sets that value into the max strength on our attributes actor component okay when I press the J key I'm going to look at my strength find out what the max value is convert that integer or that float rather into an integer take that as a string and use it to look up a row name in my DT modifier table when I find that row I'm going to print a string that tells me what the outbound modifier name is of that into this append string and we're just going to say base value of with a space B right plugs in the value of that um, that string over there from the float turned to an integer and then gives a modifier of there's a space before the the gives here just for um because think about it b is then appended to c so these would be right on top of each other so just put a space in front of gives a modifier of and then a space at the end of of and then your value for d is the modifier outbound row what the net result of that change is for you real quick is when you go out here and we hit uh, F11 to get up here a little bit higher. So if I hit J right now, there's nothing in there. If I hit I a couple times and hit J, it says base value of 6 gives a modifier of negative 2. You can probably hardly see that because it's really tiny up there in the top left-hand corner. But again, it's say a base value of 6 gives a modifier of negative 2. If I hit I a couple more times and hit J again, now it says base value of 9 gives a modifier of negative one and that value that we're getting there is coming from this data table structure that we have in here base value of nine gives minus one modifier okay so we just wanted to put that in there so it makes it a little bit easier for us to look this stuff up later on and convert it over to get our modifiers from whatever our current base value is okay this is video 4.5 we're going to call it and i'll stick it on here um just to get you cleaned up there and sorry about the confusion on that again i'm tc mabe tc gaming we'll be back with another video real soon